It's pretty common for both amateur and intermediate photographers to take pictures like this one that contain the dreaded red eye, or in this case, pet eye. There are several variables that contribute to the cause of this effect, but the main ingredient is the flash on your camera. Now, not everyone has the luxury of an off-camera flash setup, but we do have the luxury of using Photoshop Elements to fix this problem. Let's go ahead and see how we can easily do this inside of Photoshop Elements. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to the grid view within the Elements Organizer and I'm going to select the image that I want to use to edit in the Photoshop Elements Editor. And down here at the bottom of the interface I'm going to click on the Editor button to open this photo inside of the Photoshop Elements Editor. Now you can see that the dog definitely has the pet eye issue here. I'm going to switch to my zoom tool and I'm just going to click and drag around the dog's head so that I can see this a little more clearly. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the red eye removal tool. Now in Photoshop Elements the pet eye feature is available in the red eye tool. Down here in the lower left corner you'll find the checkbox that turns on pet eye. To the right of the checkbox are the pupil radius and darken settings. So you can drag this slider to change that. You can also use the scrubby sliders which is just dragging on the name of the option and that will allow you to scrub it or change it left to right. So I'm going to increase mine to about 65% and I'm going to leave the darken at 50%. You may need to adjust these settings for your particular situation of pet eye. Now with this tool selected, my options chosen, I'm going to go ahead and come up here and I'm going to click on Buddy's right eye. So go ahead and click on that and we can see that now we have the pupil inside of there instead of this reflection that's occurring. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on this eye and you'll notice it also corrects the pet eye. Now I'm going to click the undo button one time just to show you that depending on where you click on the eye you may not get the result that you're expecting. So if that ever happens to you simply undo that last operation and click on a different area of the eye and you'll get the result that you're looking for. Once you're finished, I'm just going to go to the File menu and I'm going to choose Save. And because I edited this, I'm going to go ahead and save it as a different name, but I am going to save it in the version set with the original. That way I can always see the original and the edited version together. That one looks pretty good and we'll go ahead and click the Save button and I'll go ahead and click the OK button. And I'm going to go ahead and close this and I'll return to the organizer. You'll notice that this image of the dog now has a little icon next to it. And if you click on that, that's going to open up the version set showing you the original version as well as the edited version. As you can see, the pet eye removal feature in Photoshop Elements 12 is a welcomed addition to the program and will please many users who encounter the dreaded pet eye on a regular basis.